Hey everybody, uh, of course this is Jessica with Crossword Reviews and this is our November mail haul favorite reads of the month and December TBR. So uh, I might have to start doing these by the week if I keep getting this amount of books um, and stuff. So because these are usually really long. Let me move my table around here. If you have noticed there was only two bookshelves behind me because we ended up moving the bedroom back around so unfortunately all the bookshelves are no longer on one wall tears lots of tears i was not happy about that and the uh, books on top decided to hit me in the head when we did that a couple weeks ago so that again just it wasn't fun at all so this is the way it's going to have to stay for now until uh we rearrange the entire house and of course all this stuff will go into where my mother's dogs are right now so Fingers crossed on that one. All right, so first off, this is what I'm currently reading. This is Tempted. This review was actually supposed to go up on Friday, but it is now going up on the 29th, just for the fact that uh, we decided that with tomorrow being Thanksgiving and just all the weird weather and stuff that it's just, it's not gonna happen. So I moved all the reviews for the rest of this week, unless it's already been scheduled, to next week. So next week, if you guys check out the site, you will have a lot of posts next week. Yeah. And then starting in December, hopefully, hopefully we're going back down to two posts a day. So let's hope. Also starting in December is uh, we are once again doing the top 10 Tuesdays. So uh, and that is via the broke and the bookish. So that should be really interesting. Really loved doing all of those. So that will pop up every Tuesday. Uh, the rest of our memes will actually start in January and you can check out the site for those. All right. So this is what I'm currently reading. This is our group reading challenge of the month which was the house of night series um these are actually going to get switched around a little bit starting in january we will have a monthly a monthly uh book series that we're reading and then we will have a week of um like a specific thing like for i can tell you guys what january's is Once I get to it, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right, so our monthly reading list for January, we, of course, we are reading the entire Shadow Hunter series. Oh, I guess it doesn't start in January. Okay, never mind. Oh wait, so it actually doesn't start until February. Um, that is going to be the, the way it's gonna be split up is like, so for February, the series we're reading is the Iron Face series, which I was actually looking for. Oh, it, it's up there. Is Iron Face series. So we're gonna be reading every single thing in all the Iron Face books, and that is four, five, six, seven, I think it's eight books. We'll be reading all of those. And then for our specific week of our reading, theme it's going to be nothing but stuff dealing with fae so we'll have an entire week uh well two weeks of nothing but books about fairies um and then the next month i think it's dealing with fairy tale retellings and we're going to be reading the cinder series so yeah cinder so it's going to be really interesting so you guys can actually join in on that uh we probably won't be sharing on twitter and stuff for all of that but we will be sharing it on the site if you go to crossreviews.com there's a thing where it says reading challenge and you just click on it and it will give you the link the page to um put your link in it if you want to join I know the one for the House of Night is still on there. All right, so without further ado, stuff that I got in the mail. I don't remember if I showed you this to, this to you guys last month. I think I got this stuff earlier this month. This is from Redbubble. Uh, thanks to Sasha on YouTube. I love her YouTube channel. It's so cool. Uh, she actually got some free stuff from them. So I went on there and I found a whole bunch of stuff that I really wanted. So I decided to grab a few things. So I grabbed this. It's just a really big bag and it, it really is. And it works really well, especially like if I don't want to carry a lot of stuff or I just want to grab my stuff and go, I mean, my wallet and phone will fit in this. It, it's, it's a good size. I mean, you can stick a hard back book in that if you really wanted to. I have, it works. I wish there, I'm probably going to get some buttons or something and maybe put a strap on it just so I don't have to carry it, but 
it works. But then the other thing I got was one of these bags here. This is the smaller one of this. I actually should have gotten the larger one, but oh well. So, so of course, it says Certified Book Addict, and I printed it out and shoved it on the back of my phone. So it works. But this was actually, um, it was cut wrong and sewed wrong. And then the sewing on the top of this actually started coming out, so I actually had to resew it. And when I contacted them, they were really their customer service is really good. Um, you just I emailed them, let them know what was going on, sent them a couple of pictures, and they actually sent me out a new bag that looks perfect. And I've been using that one, so this is like now my like my backup bag. So it was it was really nice. It works. It was very nice of them, and it it was very simple, very very simple process to deal with. All right, so stuff that I've gotten in the mail. So I guess we'll start with finished copies first. Or actually, I'll do these first down here. All right, so a whole bunch of stuff in the mail. This is everything that is publishing in January of next year. So these will all go up for review and giveaway next month. So the first one is Kuro. This is from Blank. I really love this cover. This cover is so breathtakingly gorgeous. I cannot wait to read this. I'm actually on a tour for this. So this will, should have its own giveaway as well, as far as I know. I mean, because it's a tour. So this one will go out to one lucky commenter. So make sure you comment. Uh, the next one is What Was Mine. This is from Gallery Books. Not, I haven't really taken a peek at most of these. This is adult, uh, but it looks interesting. I like the cover, it's pretty. Let's see. I guess this one deals with, I know I have one that deals with somebody being, oh you know, yes, this deals with a woman that kidnapped a baby in a store. And then it's been like, I think 21 years later, yeah, 21 years later, the daughter finds out um, what had actually happened of where her origins were from. And she goes, I guess, out to find her birth mother and all of that stuff. So that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, the next one is from... Kensington Books. This is Thicker Than Water. This is one that was sent to us via Night Owl Reviews. They're a really awesome company. Um, definitely for authors and bloggers. I think this one was for them. It's not, most of the times they have stamps on them, but I don't see a stamp on this. That, there's that one, Thicker Than Water. That one looks pretty interesting as well. This one is teen. Uh, the next one doesn't have a pretty cover. If you look up this cover, it's why I grabbed it is because it's so pretty. Uh, this one is from Ballenstein Books from Random House. Uh, this one was also from from Night Owl. I'm not exactly sure why these aren't stamped. That's so weird. But um, again, they will be up in December. The next one is the things we keep. This one I actually won from Shelf Awareness Pro. Uh, this one is adult. This is from St. Martin's Press. That one looked pretty interesting as well. The next one is Under the Skin. These next few ones are all from Simon & Schuster. Uh, this one is middle grade. This one is about uh, these kids who uh, their mom gets remarried and her, her step, well, their stepdad apparently has two other kids, but they've been told that they're never going to meet them, and now they go through their little quest to find out why. So this is a course from Margaret Patterson Haddix who has done tons and tons of books. I know I got an email I think the other day. I think she's wrote over 200 books, something like that. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this one is called Other Broken Things. I really love this cover. This one deals with, um, I think it's alcoholic addiction. Of course, I mean, there's a bottle in the front of it. So that one, of course, is not for the faint of heart, I would guess. Seeing if there's any, it's just an ARC, so it doesn't look like they have added anything to it. But I really love the way they did the cover. That's so neat. Uh, next is We Are the Ants. This one deals with a gay boy who pretty much has lost everything and then he's been abducted by aliens. And now it is his choice on whether he wants to save the earth or not and everybody that lives upon it. So that one will be pretty interesting. That one is for ages 14 and up. The next one I really can't wait to read is The Imposter Queen. This one looks so good. 
Um, this one is an old queen dies, a new one arises. That's how it's supposed to work. Uh, this is from Sarah Fine. She wrote, I think it's metal and something. Uh, a metal and wishes of dreams and dust and of shadows and obsessions. So I didn't really care for of metal and, of metal and wishes, but we will see how this one works. This one's so pretty. Uh, let's see. Next one is The Year We Fell Apart. This is another one from Simon & Schuster. I was like, why does that say Martin? Oh, that's the author's last name. Um, and this one deals with, uh, I guess it's just contemporary. Uh, basically, girl wants boy. Boy doesn't want girl, but he's going to get her anyway, I guess, um, because she betrayed his trust is what it says on the back of this. So I guess they have to decide on if it's still possible to fix which parts that they will live with forever. I guess on if they can fix their relationship or not. Contemporary with me is pretty hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll just find out. And the last one for January is Bounders from Monica Tesler. This was another middle grade from Simon & Schuster. This one uh, kind of has an ender feel as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's sci-fi, deals with space and some academy. So it kind of like ender for, for middle grade, I guess you could say. It seems pretty interesting. All right, so next will be one, since I can reach these, published in March. I've got a stack for February back here, but I can't reach it. Uh, so the first one is, I woke up dead at the mall. That, it's got to be kind of weird. Uh, this one is from Delacour Press. This one, I really, again, I really love the cover, like the combination of real pictures and then the drawings. It looks really cute. Uh, that's another one that's going to be a tour. So more than likely, there will be the two giveaways for that one. The next one, I have had this for oh, a couple of weeks, and I'm really trying not to just drop everything and read it. And that is book three to the, oh crap, oh, the um, Intermit Chronicles. Uh, this is book three to Perfect Ruin, Broken Crowns by Lauren De so De Stefano. Uh, I don't think book, where's the D's? I don't need them. I think the D's are right there. Uh, oh, here they are right here, actually. Yay! This is book one and book two. This is the old cover for book one. And then there's the new covers for book two. This deals with, um, in book one, they're in the city that is up in the clouds. and no, Well, they know that they're there, but it's more like a legend type thing. And uh, they are attempting to find an escape route from that um, world and then of course book two deals with them getting off of the world and now all the fallout of them being on physical earth on dealing with exactly what the new world is it's a dystopian it's amazing I can't wait to read this the scene is really thin um, how many pages is this because that yeah it's, it's under 300 pages this is only 261 pages so that kind of makes me sad that it's so short. Um, book two definitely had books, book two syndrome, but uh, the ending was amazing. So this one I'm really excited to get to. Like That'll be like the beginning of March. Or no, the beginning of February. Yeah, February. Yeah. Uh, so this one is called The Way I Used to Be. I love this ARC. All this is indented. Uh, this is, of course, another one from Simon & Schuster. And this one deals with a girl, um, Eden, that she just wants to be good. Um, this one actually deals with rape. So uh, I'm really excited to read this, actually, just to see what happens. I know this is a very hard subject to write about, so I applaud the author for taking that plunge. And I really do love that at the end of it, it gives you, you know, the reader the little, the little snippet about... Um, real life teens being in this, this situation and experience and gives you the hotline to be able to deal with it. Because I've, I've seen a couple of books that deal with these types of situations or suicide and stuff and then they don't give you any of that information. And I think that if your book deals with suicide or rape or anything like this, that's one of the main things that should be in there. 
Uh, the next one, this is one of the main covers, I think, of everything I've gotten this month that I am just in love with this cover. This is so gorgeous, Sh Shades of Darkness. This is book one in a new series called Ravenborn, and this is just so pretty. This is so gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, this one, of course, is also out in March. Uh, this deals with um, some academy. It's in the forests of Michigan, surrounded by trees and nature, virtually no evidence of civilization, and it's an oasis looking to for those looking to get away. Perfect for a student like Cara Winters, who wants nothing more than to put her past behind her and focus on the present. Uh, and her looming graduation is just a few months away. So let's see. Skim through here. I guess her past returns. The truth can never stay hidden for long. And even though she didn't cause the death at the school or the second, the first or second death, she has the ability to find out who did and that she has an obligation to stop whatever is coming to campus, to end the darkness that is falling with the same snow that once blanketed the woods in beauty. So this one deals with, I guess she has to let go of her humanity. So that sounds, it sounds like fantasy as far as I know. And it was written by Guy. So that should be interesting. But it's so pretty. So pretty. The next one, I don't know about this one. This one also comes out in March. And this is what it's called. Yes, it's pterodactyl. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews on Goodreads, and I kind of agree with them, and I haven't even read it yet, that if you are going to create some man boy that is a pterodactyl, but he apparently has the facial features of a pterodactyl, the beak and everything else, um, I don't know, That's the, the this whole word here does not compute with that. It, it kind of goes into this one where they where they start getting into Stevie Ray and the Raven Mockers. Uh, not so much. <laughs> no. That just, that one just doesn't work with me. So Rachel, Rachel, if you're watching this later today or something, because I know you're like really busy, have fun with that book. Because, yeah. Uh, these all come out in April and May and June and August. So the first one is Love and Gelato. I think I I think I've shown this to you guys before. I'm not absolutely positive, but if I haven't, here's this one. It looks adorable. The next one is Book Two from Delilah S. Dawson. This is Book Two to Hit. This is called Strike. This one comes out in April. Uh, I didn't know this was a Book Two when I requested it, so I need to hunt me down a copy of Book One. Next one is Love Blind. This is about a girl that's actually is going blind. Uh, this one is out in May. This one, I, I really actually love the cover and the, the premise of this one, so that should be pretty interesting. The next one is 26 Kisses. This one also comes out in May. This one deals with a girl named Veda, and she uh, breaking up with her boyfriend, planning on starting her summer when Mark makes it clear that it's over between them and she's heartbroken and humiliated. Uh, let's see. And then I guess she's using the summer to forget about Mark and move on. So all she has to do is kiss 26 boys with 26 different names, one for each letter of the alphabet. So, and I guess it's all over the place. So that one's gonna be interesting. Uh, the next one I really can't wait to read is How to Disappear. This one is a murder mystery book. The cover really reminds me of Find Me by Romley Bernard, which was an awesome series, by the way. If you haven't read it, do so. Uh, with a girl behind, like, the thing. I think I saw, like, the new covers that they're doing because they, they've had a few covers that are like that this year. Uh, that one actually doesn't come out until June, and then this one doesn't come out until August, and it's called Three Truths, Three Truths and a Lie. So I guess this one deals with a group of friends that gather for the weekend, and I guess they're going to tell us three truths and one lie. One of these truths is a lie, and not everyone will live to find out which one it is. So again, another another little murder mystery thing. All right, let me pull out February's books. Ooh. And then shove these back in there. Ouch, that's my finger. I need more shelf room. I think I've I've officially ran out. 
Okay. So the first one is, this is where it ends, and actually one of the things that I got with this is a little chalkboard to share stuff with it, and then you're supposed to, like, send it on to another person Ooh, to review or read. Excuse me. So this one looks like it's a multiple points of view, and it's set up like this. It doesn't look like all of it is set up like that, though. It's just in, like, spots. There it is. You can see, like, little snips there. That's going to be interesting, but uh, it doesn't really tell you what this is about, so I don't know. As you guys have probably noticed, I don't really pay that much attention to these books other than if it's something that I need to read ASAP. So, told from poor, four perspectives over the span of 54 minutes, okay, Tara reigns as the students at Opportunity High School struggle, struggle to survive. Oh, that's right, because uh, this deals with the school shooting, so definitely something that if you can't deal with the, with the topic of that, of course, because every five seconds I turn on the news and somebody's shooting somebody or something, it's insane. I fully understand that, but this one comes out in February, uh, so that one, of course, will be reviewed in January. Uh, the next one is Seven Black Diamonds. This is the new one from Melissa Marr. Uh, she wrote the Wicked Lovely series. This one uh, is about, I guess, her guilt lies in her DNA. Lily is half human, half they, and since the time before she was born, a war has been raging between humans and fairies. That one's going to be awesome. I actually need to find copies of the Wicked Lovely series again if I decide that I actually want to sit down and read it because that's one of the series that I got rid of a while back ago. Uh, the next one, this was, is actually coming out. I guess these are, yeah, these are February titles. Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, this one is the Bind Up Novella Collection from Shadow Falls, uh, Almost Midnight. So this has all the novellas in it. I don't know exactly which ones are in here. Let's see. This is part of the spinoff of the Born at Midnight series. So this has turned dark, uh, let's see, Saved at Sunrise, almost, oh, Saved at Sunrise is really good, almost midnight, that's weird, okay, Saved at Sunrise, which is almost midnight, oh wait, okay, I was like, why does that say almost midnight? It's been a long day already. Uh, let's see. Uh, unbreakable. Do, 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 do. Spellbinder. I flip through this. They didn't have like a. A lot, normally a lot of these, they'll have like a little table of contents in it. This one didn't have that. So I could have just read it to you guys. Uh, fierce. Do, 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 do. Chapter 8, 9, 10, 12. I think that's the last one. And that would be the last one. So how many, however many that is, that's what's in there. Next one is Sarah and Found, Lost and Found. This one deals with two girls and their mom leaves them and now it is the younger girl's job to take care of the older one because she can't take care of herself. So there's that one. And then the next one is OCD Daniel. This one deals, of course, with a kid with OCD. That one's out in April. Or that one was the one. It's like it says it's out in April, but it was moved up to February. And then lastly, we have Valkyrie by Kate O'Hare. Heron? Heron. Which I guess this is a reprint or something, because when I went to add this one to the calendar, it already had it as being out. So you might have already read this. It had a different cover on it. So I'm not sure about that one. But it's about the Valkyries, Norse gods. Awesome. All right, so that is, oh, wait, no, that's not all the ARCs. So here's the rest of the ARCs. We've got Bite or Bite from Jennifer Estep. That is the next in the Elemental Assassin book. I think this is book, I don't even know what number book this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. This is like book 13, I guess. 
The next one is the next book in the Forbidden series from V.C. Andrews, and it is Sage's Eyes. That one looks really good. Uh, the next one is from Kate McAllister, Dragonstorm. And the next one is from Monica McCarty, and it is called The Striker. And that's actually not an ARC. That's a finished copy. All right, so next is... This one was sent from Simon & Schuster. It is called Writer Wolfs Wolfson, The Case of the Missing Tiger's Eye. Girls really excited to read that one. Then I got me some yummies. I got a Dragon Spawn from Sherilyn Kenyon, which I actually need to look up, up to see if I actually already have this. I was fortunate enough to find a mini little mass market paperback of Dark Bites, which this is just all nothing but a bind up series of all her novellas. Don't think this one's in there though. Yeah. And I really thought it was interesting. I think the hard, the hardback is over here somewhere buried in all this stuff. So I'll have to show it to you, but this is the mass market paperback and you guys will understand why I don't have anything of hers in hardback except for the Chronicles of Nick because well, you'll, you'll see. Uh, the next one is also from her born, born of night. I actually got sent a copy of the newest book in this series. So I need to read book one. Uh, the next one is All That Bleeds from Kimberly Frost. I love her. I love her. I don't know where my... Oh, here they are. If you haven't read anything by her, you need to. This is I haven't read this series yet, but this series, which is the Southern Witch series, uh, this is awesome. This is Would Be Witch. These are the new covers. They are no longer in the trade paperbacks. They're now only in the mass market paperbacks, so I rebought all of them, of course, because it's just awesome. I don't think this one's signed. Oh, it is. Um, so it's just awesome. This is nothing but about witches and stuff like that. And her and her cat, Marcello. He's, you can see him up in there. But this is amazing. It is paranormal romance, but there's more story than sex. Because if you're anything like me, I just I don't care for reading about it. I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey, when I read that, I skimmed a lot. But um, this one I haven't read, but I need to. So... And that's what I like about Sherilyn Kenyon because her Dark Hunter series, it's fantasy, but it does the same thing in most, in most of the books. There are a few of them that there is a lot of Evan sex in there, but it works for that specific character. Uh, the next one, of course, I grabbed this one there. They had it halfway hex. I actually already have this one, but since these are little mass market paperbacks, if you read them a lot, they don't hold up very well. So, you know, it was... It was four bucks via the trade credit, so always grab extra copies. Shove it in there for later. All right, let's see. I'm almost done. They always need to talk to me. As soon as I come in here, they always need to talk to me. All right, so the next one, this is The Trouble with Destiny. This looks really interesting. They are on a cruise ship. Uh, next is Ella. I finally got this. This is actually for a tour on the 29th. This will actually be the next book that I read after this one. <laughs> I'll leave that one right there so I don't lose it. Uh, the next one is also from Simon & Schuster is Dangerous Lies. I, this is a finished copy. I really love this. You can actually feel the rain that's on it. It's all in what is it like embossed or something on it it's really cool this is about a girl that goes into witness protection uh the next one is book two in the heirs of watson island series this is persuasion i actually have book one up there somewhere because i actually got i'm getting rid of it um it just it didn't work for me but uh, i'm actually gonna pull it out so you can actually win book one and two in finished copy next one is book two from girls on tour there's that one. The next one is actually two copies of If You're Lucky. There's those. Next one is Placebo Junkies and The Yearbook. All right. Next is a book called uh, The Sparkle Box. This is religious in its content, but the one thing that I really did like about it is, if I can find it here, it actually came with a sparkle box. It came with a sparkle box. So we're actually going to do something with this to make it like more open for everybody. Um, the sparkle box is a thing where 
you put something in it. Hold on a second. I actually forgot. Oh, it's like, um, it's things that you've done for other people. So, um, like for them, since you can't get Jesus a birthday present type thing, they, you fed the homeless, gave blankets to the homeless and stuff. You would write that on a piece of paper and put it in the box. Um, which is actually, I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. Uh, so, uh, I guess other ways that you could just do it is, you know, just as a whole, instead of Jesus in particular, you could do, you know, just gifts that, you know, you gave those that were less fortunate donating toys for toys for tots and stuff like that. Definitely something that will bring a smile to a child's face. All right. Next is I got an ARC of half in love with that. Then I got on a tour for it and got a hard copy. So <laughs> this one is actually set in the 1960s. Uh, this deals with a girl's sister. I guess her sister goes missing as the weeks pass and the leads go cold. Caroline finds that the only person paying any attention to her is, is her missing sister's boyfriend. Uh, Tony, a much older guy who promises Caroline that they can find just together. Trustingly, she follows him into the 1960s world of runaways and alienated teens and falls deeply under his spell. By the time she realizes that Tony's seductive story could be a lie, she may be too far gone to ever find her way back home. So I guess it deals with runaways back in the 1960s. I haven't had the best of luck with books Falling within that era of like pre-historical to like the time that I was born, the 1980s, in that whole whole section of what like 80 years or something, I haven't had the best luck with those, but we shall see. Here's the next stack. Here's all my lovely swag. So here's some swag. This swag is actually from. Catherine Carter Search Pro Artist, which actually I think her book is over there. This is one of the my favorite reads of this month, actually. So she actually sent me a whole bunch of bookmarks and stuff. And then she she um, tweeted me back and said that she forgot to sign everything. Oh well, so you can win um some bookmarks. You can win some bookmarks. Who doesn't love bookmarks? And there's also tattoos and stickers in here. And her book is called How to Be Brave. I think it's her debut. Don't quote me on that, though, because I'm not really sure. And it deals with a girl who isn't exactly skinny or, you know, that movie star gorgeous. And it's just about her, like, finding her way. Uh, the next one I got was an awesome bookmark from Crystal Wade and her new publishing company, um, Blaze. You guys can look that up. And this is her new book coming out, and it's called Sleep. And I guess it is a combo retelling of what if Sleeping Beauty met Freddy Krueger. So I didn't know that, and that's kind of creepy. Uh, the next thing is this one. I, I actually signed up for this new free checking account that's online, and it's called Simple, and it's completely free. And the only thing I don't like is that it's a Visa gift card because a lot of places don't take them. I know Sam's just now started taking Visa, Visa debit cards again, which it's, it's fairly inconvenient. But uh, most people most people take it now. But um, I really love these little things that it came with. I know. It's like the, it's just the weirdest thing in the world. And this is all just – it's like etched. I know. I'm – I'm weird, and it's all etched, but it's a really awesome, it's a really awesome uh, card. If you guys have an iPhone, I set it up with Apple Pay. I didn't have to call in or anything like I did SunTrust, and there's there's no overdraft fees, there's no monthly fees. Zippo is completely free, free, free is awesome. All right, the next one is I got some R O R A O K uh, from Jamberries, uh, some Jamberry group that I was a part of, and I got some. I don't think that came out of there. Where's the stuff that came out of there? Oh, there it is. So I got some little foxes. Foxes. So that's always awesome. I love me some jamberry. Uh, let's see. What is this? I got coupons. I don't know why this is in here. But I got coupons from Barnes & Noble. Uh, let's see. This is actually from my... Um, book exchange group. I have a other monthly, um, every other month book exchange thing. So they sent me, Aaron sent me some stickers and some Jamboree. And I thought it was funny because I just got rid of these Jamboree colors. This is like the birthday stuff. There's those, there's the chalkboard that came with that other book, of course. And then I got my pre-order stuff from Winter from Cinder. And these I will hopefully be 
it, hopefully it will be cold enough for, my, for me to actually use them this year because it was nice and cold the last two days. Well, colder anyway. Not cold enough for gloves. It was only like 65 or something outside. But then I also got some awesome tattoos. And these are metallic. If you guys end up with these, these are metallic. Um, I actually had some from, from Erin. She sent me some. And uh, I put them on my forehead for Halloween. And then I scrubbed them all off that night. And that was a bad idea. Because I, I took a couple layers of skin with me. Uh, the next one is the next book in the Demon Trapper's Daughter series. I can't wait to read this. This is awesome. Mind games. Um, I actually am not going to be able to show you guys the shirt that she, she sent because that actually went off to the winner. So I don't have that anymore. Sorry. But it was awesome. It's blue. They're made very well. If you love this series and you want a t-shirt, um, it's amazing. Buy, buy them. You can get it off her website. Uh, the next one, which I'm not totally sure why that's still in there, is the next two books ah, in the Dark Element series. This one I actually read book one, which is actually over here on my faves for November list. There's book one is White Hot Kiss. And then book two is Stone Cold Touch and then uh, Every Last Breath. This is an awesome series. Awesome. I don't care too much for her uh, NAs because it's got a lot of swearing and stuff in it. Um, I'm not so much on the F word, but it's amazing. That one's awesome, and it's teen. Uh, the next one is I grabbed a copy of The Iron Warrior, of course. Can't wait to read that one. I have no idea what happens past, I think, The Iron Queen. I haven't read anything past that, so February is going to be awesome for me to actually sit down and read all of them. Uh, the next, these are the two books that I got via the I think it was the October book exchange group that I run. Uh, this, of course, is also from Aaron. Can't wait to read these. They look so awesome. <coughs> and then these are two that I grabbed from the used bookstore, and it is James Patterson, The Witch and the Wizard. What is it? The Gift and the Kiss. I actually need book one of this in this trade size paperback. They didn't have it. And then, of course, ah! I got me a finished copy of November 9. I was actually going to go meet her a couple, I think it was two or three weeks ago, and I didn't get to go. Very sad. So, so very sad that I didn't get to go. All right, let's see. The next one is, oh, well, here's this thing. All right, so this is why I don't have her books in hardback. Here is the Mass Market Paperback book. Here's the hardback. Yeah, this takes up so much more space than this does because these I have stacked like in front of each other and stuff. So this one will be heading back to the used bookstore. Yeah. Way too big. So the next one I got was Confess. I actually already have a copy of this wherever her books happen to be over here in the H's somewhere. I think they're over there. I don't know. They're over here somewhere. <sighs> My ABC order thing is not working out so well. But uh, this actually I found at Barn or Books a Million and it was $3.97. So I got it for under three bucks with my discount card and coupon. So I, I just decided to grab an extra copy just because, I mean, why not? It's an awesome book. I love her book. She is my go-to new adult author of the year because before this year, I had never read anything from her, and now I just I can't stop. I need to read everything by her. Uh, the next one is book two in the Goddess War series. This is Mortal Gods. This is actually another one of my faves for this month. Here is book one of the new cover. This is book two, and I can't wait to read book two. This is awesome. This is an awesome series. If you guys love Greek mythology, definitely pick this up and read it because you will not be disappointed whatsoever. Uh, the next one I got from Book Outlet, this is Becoming Gin. I actually haven't read this at all. I just, I had money from there, so, but, mm, it looked interesting. I'll grab it. Oh, there's the other favorite of the month, How to Be Brave. That's her book. This is an amazing book. This one I actually hunted down and grabbed while I was at, uh, I think it was a Books a Million, Books a Million, but it was awesome and definitely need to read it if you haven't. Next, this was actually from the used bookstore. It was eight bucks trade credit. Uh, I actually haven't read any of these, <laughs> but I keep grabbing them as they pop up. I have all of them. Uh, let's see, except I think for the latest one, what is, I think that was with the rise, fall of 10 or the rise of 10 or something or other. This is the revenge of seven. 
Uh, but yeah, I've got I've got all of them in hardback except for the bind up and novellas because of course that was that was paperback. So yeah, I'll get to that sooner or later. Aliens. We'll we'll have to do like I think we did an alien. We're doing an alien month sometime next year. Uh, the next one, of course, is the winter book. This I actually found at uh, Sam's for discount. I think it's like a dollar more than what Amazon has it. So woohoo. This thing is massive and it's so expensive. Normal hardback cover price is $22.99. That is crazy. That is nuts. And I feel really bad because I haven't read any of these yet, but I have all of them. I have the first three that they're, they're signed. She was really awesome. She sent me book plates. So still haven't read them yet. I know I'm so so horribly bad. I keep buying books and I don't read them. All right. The next ones are all thanks to Curiosity Quills. Thank you, people. I love you. I love you, Claire. Just so you know, it's not weird. Uh, this one is like, I, this one is going, I haven't put these on the calendar yet, but this one's going to be coming up here in the next week or so. Just for the fact, this is book two of the Dreamcaster or Dreamcatcher book. I know I have book one around here somewhere scanned in. I'm going to have to reread it more than likely, but this is amazing. This is an awesome, awesome series. You need to read it. Vicki Lay, you are amazing. You are like up there with Crystal Wade and stuff. Have to read it. Uh, the next one, if you guys like Alice in Wonderland, check this one out. I love this cover. This cover is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's Alice with a freaking sword. I mean, I can't show this to my 11 year old because right now she's going through a complete dived in addicted to Alice in Wonderland stage right now. So she will steal it from me. Yeah. Uh, the next one is the heartless city. This is Jekyll and Hyde. We're just the beginning. This one is another one that the cover looks just so gorgeous. And then the one after that is broken dolls. And this one looks really creepy, creepy, cool. All right. The next thing that I got, this is thanks to quirk books and they sent me a box set of the miss. I can never pronounce that miss Paragain's home for peculiar children. So it's all three books in hardback in the box set. And it also came with these cool little, little cards of all the different kids and it gives you their names on the back of them. Now the whole point of this was that I am supposed to create something out of this box. What I was planning on doing with it, I can't do because the cover is too big for it. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this thing. If you guys have any idea on what I can do with this poor box, let me know because I'm, I'm stumped. I'm, I'm severely stumped. I'm going to have to like go online and see if I can find one. But somebody will win this lovely box set. <sighs> Next, I got yesterday. Yay! I love this series. I think the rest of them are down there somewhere. Yeah. I know it's not a brand new story or anything like that, which really really makes me sad that it's not a continuation or anything to it. It's just a companion that has the, um, I think it's the two novellas that are three novellas that were in this series. So the boy in the web, the moth in the mirror and six impossible things. And it's all in blue. I love how they do that, but I love this series so much. I'm actually probably going to like email Abrams and ask them like, I just keep this. Please. So pretty. I've been dying to, to read these. I haven't finished the series yet. I know Bad Jessica. Bad Jessica, I haven't, I haven't finished anything. Um, but I'm really excited to read the rest of them because it was Splintered was was like mind blowing. Uh, the next one also came yesterday, and this is called The Good Sister. This is from St. Martin's Press. It's another adult. Uh, not exactly sure what this one is about. This one is on sale in December. Give that one a looky loo. And then the next one is Introductions for the End of the World. And there is that one. And it is not actual set up as in instructions. It's an actual book. So don't don't worry. And I think that's everything now. 
Whew. That didn't take long. All right, so TBR for this month and next month, next month our group read will be the Harry Potter series. I have not read the Harry Potter series. I actually went out and was very fortunate that I found a box set of books one through, I think one through five, brand new, never opened at these bookstores. So I grabbed that and then they had the last, I think the last two books. Yeah, the last two books also in hardback looked brand new there as well. So I grabbed all of them and then I gave my copies that I had to my daughter. So she will be joining us in the Harry Potter fiasco of 2015, 2016. So um, haven't read any of them. Oh, wait, no. No, I've read book three. I've read The Prisoner of Azkaban. I think that's book three. I'm pretty sure that's book three. Uh, that's the only one that I've read of the entire series. So I'm really excited to see the difference between the books and the movies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the book. Then I'm going to watch the movie. And then do my review. And then do the next one. So that should be interesting. And then other stuff that I'm reading next month, of course, is everything that I showed you via December. Uh, that's going to be out in, in January. And then other stuff I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be reading. Uh, this is all my drop-in titles from stuff that I own. Um, all the Rage. I actually got to meet her at GeekyCom this year, so this is actually signed. Uh, this is one of the ones that it deals, that I was talking about, you know, that it deals with um, rape and stuff, but I don't think this is one of the ones, yeah, this is one of the ones that doesn't have any information about it in the back. So that was kind of disappointing, but we'll see how it goes. The next one is Legend. I haven't read anything from Relu either. This is another author that I fortunately got to meet at GeekyCon. But I was so excited that I got all my stuff signed. I forgot to tell her what my name was. So I have the entire series signed, but it's not personalized, unfortunately. And then I also have, what is it, The Young Elites and whatever book two is. It's uh, floating around here somewhere. I don't remember what book two is. Those are also signed. Uh, next is Walk on Earth, A Stranger. This one I actually got from Barnes and from Books A Million and it was signed. I oh, actually have not met her, but this is actually our book club book of the month for December. This is for the Not Your Normal Book Club. If you guys want to join, I'm pretty sure there's still a link on the site. If you don't find it, just comment on this or track me down and I can give you guys the link. It's via Facebook. Uh, the next one is first and then this one I actually got from books and book down in Miami and I forgot to have her sign it. So I just, I got a book plate <laughs> that I had her sign. I can't believe that I did that. I gave my husband all my bags to go back out to the car because it was almost done. And that one was actually sitting in that bag. So I didn't get it signed by her, but everybody was really awesome. I got my copy of six of crows sign. Um, those are all up here. You can see, uh, and she was there. The G Josephine Angelini was there. She wrote the goddess series as well as trial by fire and firewalker. So I got all those signed. That's also an amazing series that I still need to finish both of those. Yeah. I know. And then of course my ever never ending load of the house of night series. These are still all the ones I still need to read. I think I've got my my work cut out for me. And that is pretty much everything that I'm reading for December. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm also going to be reading, attempting to read the first book in the sword. Uh, I'm going to butcher this title, Shanana, Shanane, whatever. Because MTV just turned it into a TV series, so I wanted to check it out. It's by T Terry Brooks. Um, I think it's a guy. He also wrote the... Uh, the Sword of Truth series, which I have and haven't read, but I like I like the TV series. So that's also something else that I'm going to be reading next year or for December. And then uh, also one week in December, we are having a favorite witch week, and that will be during uh, da, 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 the 27th through the 30th, and that up for grabs will be two signed copies of book. I think it's two and three of Born Wicked, some um, swag that she sent, as well as a copy of the Dorothy Must Die novella bind up, Beastly, the newest one. Uh, I think it's, what is the newest one? I think it's Mirrored. Um, Once a Witch and Always a Witch. Those are actually used copies, but they are signed. Um, I found those at the used bookstore a couple weeks ago. Uh, so that will be going for four days. And. Should be pretty interesting. Win some, win some books. Can't say no to books. 
And that is about it until next year. All right. If you guys have any questions or think that we should do anything, let us know. And I'm out of here to attempt to go read. I'm tempted. All right. Bye.